Hey guys, Vince the Longineer here. Today's video is a quick one, and I'm going to show you how to determine the flow rate out of your hose on sprayer, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so for today we're going to do a little bit of a bucket test to understand the flow rate coming out of our hose bib here. I actually have uh, two hose on sprayers that we're going to test today. One is the uh, ortho dial on spray which a lot of people have. It's a very common one. You pick it up at a Home Depot for, I don't know, like $10. And then I have a commercial Blue Mule Compact Spray All 50B. I'll leave links to the description below where you can pick these up. Uh, this is my go-to. So we'll start with this one first. So what we're gonna start with is, uh, I actually wanna calculate the gallons per minute coming out of the tip of the nozzle. So we have ourselves a five gallon bucket got my hose we're gonna hook that up make sure we got some water coming out of there and I've also got my timer on my watch so as soon as I start uh, unloading in the bucket here we're gonna start the timer all right we're gonna start right now while we're performing the bucket test here I want you to understand how the dilution ratio is calculated on the blue mule it's important to understand what it is when using products and reading labels some products do specify a minimum dilution ratio. For this hose end sprayer, the dilution ratio is calculated by taking the flow rate in gallons per minute from the tip of the hose end sprayer, which we are calculating today, and multiplying by a conversion factor of 128, which converts gallons to ounces, and divide that by the rate of the tip you are using. For thin liquids, I like the white tip, which is 2.15 ounces per minute. And that's one of the features I like about the Blue Mule, is that the rate is in terms of ounces per minute. So I know that if I want to spray 2.15 ounces of product over a thousand square feet, it's going to take me one minute to do that. All right, we're at one minute, 52 seconds. So we got to convert this into seconds. So it's just 60 plus 52. It's 112 seconds, and what we're going to do is we're going to take 5 gallons divided by 112 seconds. It gives you 0 0.04 gallons per second, and we're going to multiply that by 60 to get you into gallons per minute. So we're at about 2.67 gallons per minute. So in this example, our dilution ratio is 2.67 gallons per minute, which is the flow rate we just calculated, times the conversion factor of 128, divided by 2.15 ounces per minute. This gives us a dilution ratio of 159 to 1. That's why hose end sprayers are good for delivering products like biostimulants to the soil. There is plenty of water to deliver the product straight to the soil. It's important to understand this because a lot of people think they can use a hose end sprayer for spraying products like pesticides, but read the label closely. Those products typically rely on maintaining a certain emulsion concentration percentage of the main active ingredient, and it's hard to maintain that concentration in a hose end sprayer. So we're at about three gallons a minute in the blue mule. So we'll, we'll use the dial on spray now, give this a little bit. All right, same test. Ready? And go. The ortho dial on spray is a popular hose end sprayer. So I wanted to help you understand how to use the dial and what it means in terms of how much product you are applying as well as the speed at which you are applying it. The dial is actually set to different units than the Blue Mule. Instead of ounces per minute, the ortho dial is in terms of ounces per gallon. The dilution ratio that we had to calculate for the Blue Mule is pretty much already given to us in the ortho, just in different units. So for example, on the ortho, if I set the dial to one ounce per gallon, it's actually saying that for every one gallon of water, it's going to mix one ounce of product from the bottle. One gallon is 128 ounces, so the dilution ratio in this example is 128 to 1. But what the ortho dial and spray is missing is the time component. 
or rate at which it will apply the product. So it's important to understand the flow rate at the tip because it's going to give you the time component you'll need to understand how long it takes for the product to be sucked out of the hose and sprayer bottle. This will then impact your walking speed. So for our case here, we are at three gallons per minute. So if I had the dial set to three ounces per gallon, that means that after spraying for one minute, nine ounces of product will be sucked out of the bottle because I have three gallons coming out in that minute. So if you were applying something at a rate of three ounces per thousand square feet, it would only take you 20 seconds to cover that area. This is a common mistake that is made when using this product. Most people will match the rate on the product to the rate on the dial and think they're good to go until they realize they applied too much over a small area and are now out of product. So a minute and 37 seconds. So doing the math, that is 97 seconds, 0.05 gallons per second times 60, about 3.09 gallons per minute. So both roughly around three gallons a minute. All right, guys, we're gonna do the same thing this time, except no hose, no equipment. There are a lot of losses that occur in the hose and the equipment. So we're just going directly from the hose bib to the bucket to see if there's a difference. Starting now. <laughs> about 33 seconds okay so we'll do that same calculation five divided five divided by 33 times 60 it's about nine gallons per minute directly out of the hose bib all right guys so there you have it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining.